What's up guys? Uh, just thought I'd make a little video on this before it's gone. Uh, it's a piece of history being lost here in my area. This is the Coxton Railroad Bridge. Um, years ago, across over there on the other side, the uh, used to be the old Coxton Railroad Yards. Uh, they still have some trains back there now. There used to be a big roundhouse back there. It used to be a, a, a hub for a lot of the train traffic in this area. Um, this bridge, I'm not sure exactly when it was built. Uh, I could find out and maybe I'll do another video when they're tearing it down. Um, it's late 1800s, maybe early 1900s. Um, it's not in use anymore. Uh, obviously, I think you can see the damage out there on that second pier and the first pier here. It's been falling down for years. A couple years back there was a fire and uh, all of the uh, all the ties on the bottom, they all burned out. So it's fallen out of use over the years and they're uh, getting ready to tear it down now. They've been doing all this work for the last couple of weeks, building this road here, building a little dam, um, just to get their machines in there to start tearing that down and getting rid of the piers. They built this, this road here uh, and it goes all the way back. This used to be a set of railroad tracks goes back here. Um, and uh, used to run through here and this was another set of tracks that ran underneath this bridge and ran all the way down to a power plant down uh, down the line in Harding. And that bridge, the rails crossed over the top of this one and they continued to go and then it went back that way through the valley. Um, I'm not a big railroad buff. Um, I don't know exactly what line it was, but uh, Anyway, like I said, this is going to be torn down within the next couple of weeks. They've been really cranking on the work here. And uh, they're going to take this thing out piece by piece. Um, I'm going to try to get down here while they're actually doing some of the construction, when they're actually tearing down these beams and see how they do it. Maybe try to get a video. Um, that's kind of sad. Just another piece of history in our area being lost. Uh, that's over there on that side is Duryea that's where the Coxton Railroad yards are and like I said they're still there today but they're nowhere near what they used to be and uh, that mountain there it's Campbell's Ledge it's a prominent feature here in our valley um, a lot of history here uh, if you've watched some of my videos you've seen uh, where I go looking for Native American artifacts uh, the cool thing is, is I don't know if you can see through those trees there uh, let me see if I can zoom in yeah you see a blue tarp over there. That's actually a uh, working archaeological site. They've been there since the late 80s. Um, even though the railroad yards over here had disturbed a lot of stuff, they built on top of things. So the ground in that area there is completely undisturbed um, over, the, over the centuries, really. And they've got uh, evidence over there of Native American activity all through this area and that island over there uh, but they have evidence going back I think the oldest thing they found in there they did a carbon date on a fire pit that was almost 9,000 years old so they're still going like I said it's been going on since the late 80s uh, it's the Society for Pennsylvania Archaeology the Francis Dorrance chapter um, and they're usually there on Sundays uh, doing the excavations I haven't been over there in a while I still talk to them but uh interesting piece of history I said that Native American sites right there and then this is all parts of the uh, the railroad history and uh, even though the railroad history was all through here they still left a little bit of ground untouched that were able to uh, find all that those artifacts so that's pretty cool um, I've looked for artifacts all on that far bank over there over the years numerous things have been found over there uh, that island back there um, not so much on this side but still a lot of history but piece of uh, uh, railroad history is going to be lost here in the next couple of weeks so I'll try to get I'll try to get some more information on it find out exactly when it was built maybe put it in my next video I'll do a video like I said if I can get down here while they're actually tearing it down um, they're bringing a lot of the, the stone down it's actually right past my house so when I start seeing them come out with uh, steel I'll uh, get down here and try to get some of it on film for us 
But um, the only reason they're able to do this now is this river has finally gotten down low. Uh, over the summertime, during the time I wanted to go looking for artifacts, it was all those rocks over there were pretty much covered. The river stayed up this year because we had a lot of rain. But all right, uh, just thought I'd throw a little piece of history on the channel. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them below. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Hopefully, uh, I'm going to have some metal detecting stuff out again soon. Just put one out yesterday and uh, see if I can get out and get some more before the uh, weather breaks. So, all right. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Garter snake. Look at him. He's pretty ticked off. Let's see if I get him to strike. There he goes. It's just a garter snake. These things are pretty harmless, but I'm over here checking out the bridge. I just met this little guy. That was kind of neat. A little bit of nature. Come on. They're harmless. They don't really hurt too much. And they're actually pretty good to have around, so we'll leave this guy alone. I know people that killed them and just no need for it, but a eh, small garter snake. Yeah, just thought that was neat. I'll add that to the video. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. So, guys, I was going to end the video, but I figured I'd come down here just to give you a different perspective. You see how damaged the piers are, and all the debris from the uh, the recent floods that we had in 2011. The water was up on top of that, which was pretty impressive. But you can see how damaged the piers are and why they want to take it down. But it's too bad, though, because, uh, like I said, it is a piece of history. But it fell out of use, like I said, a long time ago. I don't think I've seen a train on this thing in 20 years, so or better. Ever since they took the uh, the little bridge that goes over that that highway out. So, just thought I'd give you a different perspective of what it looks like. You can see those ties up there. There was a fire out here. Like I said, it's all burned up several years back. So, it's a safety hazard to people coming out here doing stupid stuff. But, anyway, I thought I'd throw this in. So, anyway, again, thanks for watching. Uh, any questions, leave them below. And uh, thanks again. Take care, guys.